Hi guys, Chuck here, KK6USY for Ham Radio Ventures. Welcome. Now, today we're going to do a review on a 100 amp hour battery from Lightime. Uh, I think they had another name in the, in the past, but uh, for now they're called Lightime. They're a pretty respected uh, company, and uh, so we're going to test it out. Now, they did send this battery to me for review and to show it and testing for you guys. They didn't ask to see the video before I posted it, and they didn't tell me what to say other than to let you know what the uh, specs and stuff like that are on the battery. So all the opinions will be my own. So let's go unbox this battery, see how well it's packed, and see what comes inside. And then we're going to do a capacity test, and also we're going to do hook an inverter up to it and see if it can run some appliances that I have around the house here, like a hairdryer or something like that. So let's go check this thing out and see how it performs. All right, guys, this is Lie Time or Lee Time. I'm not sure exactly. I do believe they changed their name. I don't remember what it used to be, but I'll try to find that out for you guys. Just so you know, if you already have a battery with the old name on it, you know that it's just the same battery. Okay, there it says Life and Discovery must be their logo. Has their, uh, where it's made and all that stuff in their website. Box has all the appropriate stickers. And again, Looks like my shipping company, the shipping company did a nice job. It's the box is pretty much intact. I don't see anything wrong with it. Let's open it up and see what's inside. Oops, a little off today. My cuts. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that knife. I don't need it now. Now, on the top of the box, we've got the uh, envelope with all the stuff inside. We'll take a quick look at that. And they've got their logo on that. Nice little uh, bag there. Here's your product manual. And the product manual has, uh, let's see, looks like 14 pages. Yep. And it probably tells you, we'll go through this later and see what it has in it. And then uh, Life and Discovery is their deal here again. And this is just a, it shows all their products, I guess. Kind of a little advertisement. Now it says, do not connect uh, from different brands or with different specifications in parallel or series. That's kind of common on all the different manufacturers. Oh, and then look at their, they've got some nice stickers too. They've got like nice motorhome on there. If you're into stickers, boat, backpacking. Uh, explore the future and just a regular battery and then the guy with the big muscles there <laughs> all right let's put all this stuff back in here and open this up you know what i'll save time i'll do that in a minute okay so it shows points here do we have some the batteries the post batteries and it looks like it has two batteries i think these are number eights with with uh, washers and then two caps if you guys can see the caps there okay those are for keeping things from falling on and shorting it out all right that came in there this is fairly thick and and like a lot of these batteries are done this has about an inch inch and a half around it so you have to really hit it fairly hard to uh, actually hurt the battery guys and let's just pull that down now this has the swing up type uh, handles here they're pretty common they're pretty easy um, actually I do kind of like them I don't like them on the big heavy batteries but these uh, these light bulb 4s are pretty lightweight. So let's pull it out of here and take a look at everything. Let me turn it around for you guys, the right side up there. And there we go. Now, let me push it over this way a little bit. Okay, so on the top here, it has your nominal voltage, 12.8, rated capacity, 100 amp hours, rated energy, 1280 watts hours, charging voltage is 14.4 volts. Max continuous charge discharge current is 100 amps. And surge discharge current is 500 amps. That's pretty high. I don't think I can test that all the way out, guys. Now, on here it says download the app. So there must be an app for this. Um, I looked at, they, they contacted me a while ago and I didn't, I looked at it then, I don't remember what it is. So, so it has Bluetooth, so we're gonna test that also. See how that works. The front of the battery it's got some nice graphics and stuff on it uh just tells the specs 12.8 100 amp hours 
They're calling this a Group 24. I don't see that on a lot of batteries, but that's like the smaller RV type size. But with 100 amp hour in a LiPo 4, you're getting 100 amp hours basically, compared to 50% of a lead acid. Let's see what the back has on it. Okay, the back has uh, some cautions, do not do's. I guess this is where we're gonna get our, um, our app right here with our phone. And it has the, all these other stickers that most of these batteries have. And it says made in China and light time. The size of the battery, they don't have anything on. They're just black. Let's measure this and just see how big this battery is, guys. Let me turn it back around for you so we can put that as the front. So across the top, we are 10 and one quarter inches. Front to back, we are six and five eighths, okay? And then top to bottom, about eight and a quarter inches. And then maybe add an extra quarter, so eight and a half if you add these as the actual height, because that is actually, and it's not quite a quarter inch, but we're just gonna call it. So, so instead of eight and a quarter, we're just gonna call that eight and a half, all right? All right, let's, uh, we gotta charge this thing up. They come about 50% to 70% charged, and that's by law, so uh, for shipping. So I'll charge it, and we'll start doing some testing on this thing, guys. All right, now we're on uh, Light Times webpage here, guys. Uh, up to 50% off right now, March 15th to the 25th. So we're in that time period, if you're watching this video when I put it out. It's spring, Black Day, Black Friday. Say more on the official store here, guys, and it's just showing a bunch of their batteries here. And then they also have a 48-hour flash sale. You may not make this as one day, 16 hours. I might get this out before that, but uh, looks like this is on their uh, um, batteries that they're making for, like, uh, trolling motors and stuff. If you notice, these have uh, the thrust down here. It's 30 to 70, 70 to 100, 80 to 120, and 30 to 70 again over here and 12 volt 24 36 and 12 a lot of these uh trolling motors run on higher voltage so and usually you have to like hook batteries together to get it but they're showing here that you can instead of hooking two twos together you've got two and a 200 amp hour battery at 24 volts guys so that's that's that just makes it easier on you uh, not to have a bunch of extra wiring and stuff and then you come down here to their uh this is the batteries the section that uh, i tested here we're going to look at the, the one I tested in just a second here, but I just want to go through their page and they have various different batteries. You guys can stop this at any time and, or pause it, I should say, and check it out. And then it looks like they have stuff for uh, golf cart batteries too. So you, if you guys are into golfing and stuff, and, and these would have probably more current, be able to handle more current. This says a 60 amp hour, 100 amp hour, 30 and 60, but they're 51.2, 51.2, 36 volt and 36 volt. And then they also have, they sell the chargers for these things. And what's nice is if you look at this charger, it has like a, a really nice uh, Anderson power pole type setup. The heavy duty ones, like I think this thing is 50 amps or something like that. Don't quote me on that, but it's pretty close. And they just have various sizes. Um, like this is a 48 volt, 12 volt, 10 amp. Uh, these were 12 volt up here, 20 amp. I don't like to charge too, like, here's a 12 volt 40 amp. Now, if you have a really big battery, like a 300 amp hour, that would be great. Um, your 100s and your 50s, I would stick to the 20 at max on those guys. All right, so let's go up and look at the battery that we tested. And that battery is the 12 volt 100 amp hour Bluetooth. All right. Now, hopefully we'll have a chance to uh, look at the Bluetooth part of this. I, I'm... I don't really use that kind of stuff very often, so we'll try to take a, a quick look at it. They do want to track things, and I, I'm not a big fan of that uh, if I have a Bluetooth. Uh, so if I have like a Bluetooth app, I'd rather not be tracked by everything that I check, but uh, that's something that I've heard that they're going to try and uh, take off of there eventually. And then maybe they have by now, I don't know. So this is a lifetime 12 volt, 100 amp hour, group 24. Group 24 is a smaller like RV type battery, guys. Size wise, a group size, like a group 24 is this big. A group 27 is like three or four inches longer. They're all about the same height usually. So it has uh, lifetime's latest invention. 
Now this battery also, and we will test this in this video and see if this works, it has a low temperature cutoff. And the way I'll end up doing that, we'll show you later, is I'll stick it in my, my freezer in the house here and uh, get it cold enough to where it will cut off. Now my charger shows uh, in a float mode or something like that when it's not charging, but you'll see that it actually does cut the voltage off. And then when it warms up, it you know starts charging again. So they're saying they grade A life, LiFo4 cells, 4,000 plus cycles at 100% duty cycle. Now, a lot of these batteries, after the 10 years or after the duty cycles, they're still at like 80%, which is still still better than most lead acids um, at full power, okay? Or at, at when they're brand new. Because lead acids, you can only take down to about 50% before you start hurting the battery, guys. These, you can take them down to their, it's a set voltage that they bring, bring them down to and that's safe for the battery and then it cuts the bms will cut that off the battery management system okay group 24 size 75 percent size 200 percent the energy it's still it's still a 12 volt 100 amp hour battery though guys okay a lot of times your your group 24s will be a little bit less than your group 27s or something like that and i'd say their regular size batteries are probably equal to like a group 27. 10 times the charging efficiency yeah one thing that these Lifetime life pull four batteries, these uh, lithium ion, they actually charge faster they'll, because they'll take more charge. Uh, like when you're doing it on your on your solar panels or something like that. All right, so they're a little bit quicker to charge. So if you know roughly you have six good hours a day usually for solar, and believe me, if you don't have enough solar, you're never going to get your batteries back all the way up. So you, it's always better to overdo your solar because. 100 watt solar panel is probably going to get somewhere in the 80, 85, if you're lucky, 90-ish, okay? So when you start doing that, kind of look at that. Now right now, this is on sale for $359, a regular $579. Uh, there's a code here for $50 off. I don't know. I'm, I'm probably going to, I should have a code in my description also for uh, to, to use. And, I, and I, I, I'll join their affiliate program, so I will get a cut of that, but... It doesn't cost you guys anymore. It just helps the channel, okay? And let's just look at different pictures I have here. I already gave you guys the dimensions, but here they are again in writing, all right? And here they're showing how it, it uh, cuts off at, uh, see, see, oh, stop discharging at minus four degrees. At less than 32 degrees, it'll quit charging and it resume charging around 41 degrees. And this just shows the makeup of the battery and they're showing you how to charge it and what that showing you their chargers and stuff uh max max continuous charging is 100 amps and that'll fully charge the battery an hour if you have the time to charge it slower charge it slower guys but you can they're just showing that you can charge it really fast i don't think they even recommend 100 amps at a time okay all right so that was the site like I said, there in the description, there should be some links for you guys. So make sure you check out the links. All right, let's get back to testing this battery. All right, we got the Lifetime uh, LiPo 12.8 100 amp hour battery set up to the tester. I'm gonna plug it in. I already have it set at 10 amps, guys. All right, so I've zeroed this out and we're at 12.9, 10.1 amps. So it should take about 10 hours or so. So we'll be back when it's done. All right, guys. So I've got the battery hooked up. This is the Lifetime 12.8 LiFo 4, 100 amp hour. And it's a group 24 size, so it's a really small one. We've got some other things that we're going to show you later on this, like the uh, it has an app that we can check things out. Check that out. We're at 13.57. Got a heater here that usually runs around 7 to 800 watts on low and then 1500 on high. I have a 1200 watt amp peak inverter. Now this inverter only goes to 12, so when I push this to high, we should get an alarm and that should kick off and then we can restart it and everything, okay? I've got an amp meter here and this amps and then we're gonna have voltage here, guys. And this actually has a thing on it that tells how many watts, okay? So let me turn this on. As we turn that on, it's working. And you see we have a light here, so we're going to just turn this on the fan first. It has a fan also. We're at 13.48 now. Let's let that settle for a second. 2.9 on the amps and 25 watts. 
All right. So let's go ahead and we're going to kick this up to number one, which is the uh, 7800 range. You see this popped on. And it's, uh, it's, it's it'll it'll fluctuate for a little while, guys. It's it's uh, about 850, 60 now, and it'll eventually settle down. We're at 12.81 on the voltage there. If you guys can see that, I'll kick the light on too. That helps maybe. I don't know if that helps or hurts. Okay, it'll go off eventually anyhow. So our seven, almost 800 watts, according to this, we are at 71. Oh, 70.8 here, and then we're down to 12.78. So we're gonna let this run a little while. So what we're gonna do, this battery has a low temperature cutoff, I believe also. So we're gonna test that also. So later, we're gonna run, first of all, we're gonna run the battery down some so we can get a charge on it. And then we're gonna stick, stick it in my freezer and see if we can get it low enough to cut it off. And then we will test it. We'll hook it back up, but we need to run some power out of this thing for a little while, just so that, uh, it actually will take a charge. I'm going to go ahead and then hit to high now. It should it should kill the uh, inverter after a few seconds. And we're already up to 12, 30, 13, 45. And as you can hear, it set that off. So I have to turn that off. Let me turn this down, turn this all the way off, and then we'll turn this back on. We are at 13.16 now. Is that what it says? Yeah. Okay, now we got three watts here, so everything's running again. We're just gonna run the fan for a second. All right, we're down to 13.18 still. 2.9 on the amps. All right, let's go turn the heater back on so we can run this down a little ways. And we're peaking, uh, we're up in the almost 60, 65, seven. It's going up, it should go back down. It's like 83, 84 now. Now it's working its way back down. We're at 800 and, 800 and about 800 watts right now. It's just now hit 800. Now it's about 780. I think that's where it's gonna level off somewhere around 750 or so. Okay, so this is what I had to do, guys, to uh, get the light time to uh, have a cutoff, put it in my freezer for a couple hours. There we go. Okay, so here we go. Let's open this up. And see it's on bulk charge and it went to absorption charge this is light time battery so as you can see guys the, the uh, it's in absorption mode now which means it's not charging any amperage in okay so the low temperature cutoff does work on this battery all right guys here's the light time battery and uh, just finished the testing on it so let's, uh, let's get set up a little bit better and we'll look at the screen and see how it tests it out Okay, as you guys can see, it's 104.93 amp hours, 1317.74 on the uh, watt hours, and it took it 10 hours and 21 minutes at a 10 amp discharge to uh, run it down. So I call that a pass, guys. Good deal. All right, guys, the Lightime Group 24 battery worked really well. It uh, performed all the tests and passed everything good. I just don't feel good about giving my information out on an app just to check the battery. I have other ways to do that. I use Victron uh, solar controllers and stuff like that. It gives me about the same information and it doesn't go anywhere. It just stays between me and my battery. So if you guys wanna do that, that's fine. I, I have seen the app work before and it does work uh, on the battery. So that is a good, a nice feature. I just didn't feel comfortable with it guys. But all in all, the battery performed really, really well. You guys noticed that the uh, low temperature cut off, cut off like it's supposed to, and then it did charge later. I didn't show that in the video, but I did hook it up after it reached low, over 41 degrees, and the ba battery was charging again like it should. So all that stuff worked really well. And I will say they're a really good company to work with. Every time I had a question or needed to get an answer from them, they got right back to me. If you're new here and you like content like this, Hit the subscribe button, hit the bell, hit all that way you'll get all my future videos. I'm Chuck, KK6USY. This is Hammer New Adventures. Thank you for spending your time with me. I know your time is valuable. Don't forget to hit that like and hope to get you guys on the airways. 73 all.